Hey guys, Rex here. So, why is it such a mystery to the news people and the politicians, conservative and liberal, on all different sides of the spectrum, and libertarian, like, it's so lawless. Why is it lawless? I think there's this, uh, it's the other side are responsible for how lawless it is. Oh, this side's not doing what the government tells them. Oh, this side's just burning cities down. This ain't rocket science, people. Although apparently it might be because it doesn't seem like anyone's getting the deal. Okay, But why do you think nobody's following the law? Nobody even knows what the hell the law is anymore, do they? Stuff that's totally, totally unlawful. There's a difference between unlawful and illegal. Look it up. But stuff that's totally unlawful, that's repugnant to the Constitution of the United States, which is thus null and void, like Marbury versus Madison type stuff. Oh, they're enforcing the hell out of that. Like, oh, I go to take the, the boy to the playground, and there's yellow tape on the playground. Like, the freaking Andromeda strain had hit it and lit it on fire, and there's a minefield. Like, oh, man, that's illegal to go in there. Or, you know, there's tape there. If you can't get past some tape, I'm sorry. Anyways, you get in the playground and do whatever you want. Though that's illegal. Well, it's illegal to have your store open, you know, in a lot of states. Like, oh, you can't have that open right now. But, oh, Walmart and, and McDonald's. I remember the big yellow-haired man himself, who I was so hoping was not going to be like that. We're working together with Costco and McDonald's so they can save us, but the rest of you better just, you know, turn it off. And then you got, like, police officers who are supposed to enforce that blue line, right? Well, if you don't know what it is, guess what they're going to enforce? They're going to enforce the policy they've been handed. Nobody knows what the blue line is. Nobody cares. They just do what their boss tells them. This is all about me having a paycheck every week, you know. And I'm not against police, man. I'm just saying, like, when people forget how important it is to know where the blue line actually is connected to, then you're going to run around just enforcing what, well, I don't know what it is, but the guys who give me my policies must. Okay, we're no longer going to, like, there's an entire group of, of humans that we're not going to even, like, don't even, don't even talk to them. They can commit crimes and jump on stuff and do whatever they want. Because of politics, because of the narrative, the gaslighting by a certain side, whatever you want to call it, man. So they get to do that, but then if you do anything, nuclear bomb on your face, tanks roll up to your house, so, ah, you know, we heard you got down. Ah. I mean, look at the history of that. I, mean, I can't See, I can't talk here. I'm thinking of very specific case study examples that piss me off. And I can't talk on this platform, because this platform is gay. <laughs> so, check out the link. I'm going to talk for real on the other one, okay? That's my plan. When I'm done with this one, I'm going to continue on this vein and talk about that stuff. What a, what a mess. What a stupid joke, right? Yeah, so, they have to enforce, like, oh, we, we heard you refer to a person by the improper pronoun. You, like, you need to participate in their psychosis and tell them that they are a pink, bunny, a pink bunny rabbit from Pluto with little mouse ears that makes them feel like a half girl. Like, what the hell? Uh, and it's the law. You better respect that, and you better do it, or we're going to put handcuffs on your ass and take you to the jail. Meanwhile, that same person's hopping around, doing horrific things, and then when the dad gets mad, then the dad gets in trouble. You're supposed to allow all that weird shit to destroy your family. It's literally inverted, guys. Why? Because nobody has connected. Like, someone snipped off that blue line, like, stole it, like the time bandits stole the map of the universe, and ran around here, and they're like, oh, this is ours. We invented this one. Humans invented this blue line business. We know what to do. And why would you know we got it all upside down? All screwed up. I'm not super surprised. So that's pretty exciting, huh? Why is, why is not anyone respecting the law? See, invade the country. Well, I'm not allowed to talk about that. Excuse me. You know, like, all oh, these guys, you got to give them half a million bucks, you know. And then the people that are suckers enough to, like, actually follow their deals are paying for everything. I'm just, I can't even talk. Can't talk, man. You know what will happen? You, I mean, this deal is toast, right? The best I can salvage YouTube for is an advertisement over there. Oh, 
Yeah, go F yourself if you don't like that part. I mean, that's the truth, ma'am. If I can't even talk here, what's the point? You want me to speak in codes? Alpha one three nine or three eight two seven one 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 two one one A. Know what I mean, people? Do you know what I'm saying? That's gay. I don't like it. You know how much mental RAM it takes to just edit yourself trying to carry out a fluent thought? It's actually like disjointing my brain. I don't speak that language, man. It's hard. So the honest conversation can be about, oh, I'll still talk. I'll still talk on here until they blow it up. Until they take it down. Like, oh, you said something mean probably in the cold war. He said, let's go, Brandon. You can't say that. That's very, very disrespectful. Okay, man. Whatever. You guys have fun in the nuclear apocalypse. That's another topic we need to talk about is the nuclear apocalypse. A lot of people, man, don't know what's going down. I mean, and I'm being a bit hyperbolic because that ain't going to happen for another seven minutes past the, the first deal that's got to happen. <laughs> you can't go down this path and expect it to be a glorious time. Everybody knows it's going to happen because people have like decided that's what, you know, what they're doing. I'm not doing it. I'm trying to explain to people how to step to the side. Like, oh, geez, here it comes. Look out. Step over here. Rex is radical. He's talking about apocalyptic stuff. You know, they're going to better arrest him. He's talking about the Bible. Okay, man. You continue. And me and my friends, we're going to go over here. And then when the train misses us, then I'm sorry. I told you to get off the tracks, bro. All right, so I got for today just a little bit of a rant. Like, why is everything so, no one's to obey the law. What more do you need to hear? What more do you need to see? Our patience is growing thin.